Jersey Sports Owns coverage of Cranford is brought to you by Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in Rahway. Cranford is the final undefeated team in New Jersey. The Cougars put a 20-0 record on the line against Governor Livingston. The Highlanders look to unseat the reigning Union County champions in the tournament final. Both starters had their stuff working in this one. Sean Woodruff gets the swing and miss on a breaking ball. Jonathan Schmidt then rears back, and he goes up high with the fastball. Each team with one hit apiece so far were scoreless through three. There was plenty of great defense to go around. How about GL catcher Michael Basile showing off his cannon right arm? The freshmen getting it done behind the plate were scoreless through four full innings. From the rookies, we go to the veterans. Is there a better third baseman in New Jersey than Ryan Jaros? The chances are slim. The Georgia Tech commit holding it down in the hot corner. There is still no score as we go to the sixth. Top of the sixth, GL gets moving. After a leadoff single, George Provel singles, and the runner is headed to third. Sean Riley erases him with a beautiful throw. Oh, man. Riley with 99 arm strength out there in right field. That was an absolute laser. Later in the sixth, GL will proceed to load the bases for the first time in this game. Sean Woodruff is in a jam, but guess what? He gets out. The changeup does its job. Woodruff is pitching a great game. Mid six, we are still scoreless. Bottom six, Cranford works a pair of runners into scoring position with two outs, but Jonathan Schmidt is still rolling on the mound. That is strike three. We go to the seventh inning. Still two big goose eggs out there on the scoreboard. Now to the top of the seventh. GL has the go-ahead run standing right there at second base. Sean Woodruff does it again. He throws seven shutout innings giving the Cougars one last chance to win this game. Bottom seven. There's a runner on first base for Ryan Caraccino. GL tries to work a 4-6-3 double play, but Caraccino beats the throw. With one out, Matt Chapman will come in to pinch run. Up next is Braden Fry, the freshman. First pitch swinging. Fry catches a barrel. It's a deep shot. It goes to the wall. Chapman gets waved home, and Cranford walks it off to win a thriller. Braden Fry gets flooded by his teammates. He is the hero in the Union County Championship. 1-0 is your final. A gem from Sean Woodruff and the biggest hit of the year for Braden Fry allows the Cougars to repeat as Union County champions. I mean, I was just looking at first pitch, you know. I'm trying to barrel one up, get that tying run, or winning run in, and you know, just win us the game. Yeah, you just you know got to focus on uh, hitting your spots. Coach Matlow's calls pitches. I trust him, you know, trust him to the fullest. So, um, you know, just keep your composure and hit your spots, and you'll be fine. You know, you you want to try and win every pitch, every out of every inning, and win every game. And we've been fortunate enough up to this point to be able to do that. But there's a lot more hard work to be done. And we'll be at uh, six eight, six thirty morning hitting Tuesday, and uh, we'll enjoy it tonight. But it's back to work in the morning. Reporting from Kane University, I'm Jay Cook, jerseysportszone.com.